Hey guys, welcome to my first Blitz video as the chess bird. Uh, I don't really have much to say uh, other than I'm nicely dressed today. So yeah, let's get right into it. i been studying my Jabava London. Luckily we got white. So hopefully... Uh, uh, okay. What am I supposed to do against this? Forget. I think H3. I think I can just take actually. Um, I'll take with a pawn to not lose my central pawn. Castle. Put my bishop here, and that's why I played h3. I want to put my queen here. Hit everything. Force a trade. In fact, I'm probably just much better now. Even though I have doubled C-pawns, I have pressure on the E-pawn and now the C-pawn as well. And also the B-pawn. Um, I feel like that creates a very, very, very juicy square. I can take... I can also play Rook D1. And now I can take... Um... Why does something look wrong about that, though? Let's play h4. See what happens. Because he can't move his knight. Like, he's going to run out of moves, right? Like, he's just going to run out of moves. What, what, what can he do? Oh. That, that's what he can do. Here, takes, 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 ah, h4 was a mistake, because I, I can't go back to h4 with my bishop, that wouldn't even protect my rook, it's whatever, okay, salvage this position. This is still pinned, by the way. Don't I have this move? Where's this knight going? Here? Ah. Okay. And now I go here and here and... Even though I'm down a pawn, I think. Whee! Oh, that's fine. Uh, takes, takes, takes. I'm. Am I am I counting correctly here? Like, what am I missing? And I'm up a piece. Thank you very much, sir. This is hanging. This is hanging. Okay. This is still hanging. Um, let's see. We'll just go back. Protect our bishop. Uh, let's give a check. And here is where I wanted to go. But I'm realizing that might be a mistake. So I'm just going to go back. Okay, reroute to this square. Put my pawns on dark squares. I don't like that move. Let's go to the center of the board. Okay, give a check. Where's his king back? I 
don't really know what that does. This move is very, very strong. I have time. I can win this. Good enough. I'm going to win this. Oh my goodness. Maybe I do have some speed in me. Oh my goodness. How much how long was I pre-moving? How long was I pre-moving? I was pre-moving for Let's see, from, holy smokes, all the way from move 22 to 75. That's more than 50 moves, 22. This is where it all started. Wow. Game review, the juicy part of the, the video, the analysis. Whew, man, I played pretty accurately today. Very nice, let's just go through. Uh, yeah, I, I played knight c3 here because I'm a Jobava player and I just wanted to, to prepare for d5, but he plays d6 instead. And against this, I, I uh, studied some theory that plays uh, h3 like against the perk and then I'll play e4 knight out to f3 and bishop e2 and castles and the reason i play h3 is first of all to stop this pin but after the knight goes to f6 uh, why don't i just show this on the board um for example here uh here perk um yep here and then i play this and i'm going to castle castle and put my bishop on this square for example, let's say knight here, I can put my bishop here now because the knight does not have the g4 square. And I just have a pretty solid advantage here. Um, my bishop cannot be touched. I'm just gonna bring my queen up, maybe go for the bishop, bring my rooks to the center, play very principal chess, and it's a very nice solid line. But back to the game. Uh, knight f3 is what happened, and e5. This is kind of like a weird philidor almost kind of thing. I think he just wanted to play a pawn to the center without trading queens. Uh, yeah, I just took because I just felt the right thing to do. It says it's a mistake, but it, I still have like a tiny advantage. Uh, so I just play bishop e2, just following kind of what I wanted to do. And then this is just weird. It says play, ah, because I can take and take. I didn't see that. But it's okay. I still have an advantage, even though it called it a miss. I was just playing very principled here, so I'm not really worried about the tactics that I missed that give me tiny advantages. So yeah, b6, I'm just like, okay, that's kind of a terrible move, because first of all, it's going to take like two moves to develop the bishop anyways, because after bishop b7, you have to play c5, and you can't play bishop a6, because I'm looking at that square. So yeah, first you have to play like a5, which is what happened, 
And then I'm just like, okay, if I just trade queens here, I'm putting pressure on literally everything and I can double up very easily on the D file. And this is what happened. And I have a very big advantage here. Uh, it causes, again, a mistake, but uh, it's only because the best move is knight D2. And I'm not going to see that move. Honestly, I'm not going to see that move. I played the third move. It calls a mistake. I still have like a decent advantage. So whatever. Now here, I I mean, this is just the obvious move. Like uh, everyone's going to play this, uh, in my opinion. Um, and it's very obvious. It's just pinning the rook, uh, pinning the, the knight to the rook. And it's a permanent pin. Like you're never, ever going to break this pin. Uh, so yeah, after, after rook a7, I'm just like, Huh? What does that even do? Buddy, you're still pinned. You can't do anything. So I, I missed knight takes e5. I give you that. I don't know why I didn't see that. It's a very obvious move. I also had rook takes b6. Uh, just everything abusing this pin. Um, yeah, I, I played a4 because I'm like, uh, what if I just like wait and my opponent's going to run out of moves, right? But I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even see this. Uh, but I did play the top move, so good job me for recovering and not blundering again. And after f6, I'm just like, okay, knight h4, best move, props to me. I mean, very simply, I want to exploit the uh, f5 square. He, of course, stops that, which I which I, uh, which I think was correct. And here, I'm just like, okay, where's this knight going? It has one square, but if I can double these pawns and play knight back, I'm hitting both these pawns, which is what happened in the game. Um, so yeah, you'll notice I'm hitting the, these pawns. And then this is just a very clear one move plunder. If you do the counting, one, two, three. And there's only one, two defenders. So I have one more attacker than the other defender. Therefore, I win a piece. And that is what I did. And he traded everything, which I think is wrong. Although, he did try to, to make a draw, which kudos to him. I think he actually did quite a decent job. And gave me a little bit of difficulty finding a clear way through. But uh, that's only because my, my knight was a little bit cramped in the beginning of that end game. But after I got it out, uh, it was very easy to... Uh, take everything even though i i was like free moving here so i i made a little bit of inaccuracies but it didn't really matter in the long run um, so yeah, i just take everything take and this was a really good move because i, I pre-moved this and i'm like oh shoot he's he's going to go bishop bishop d5 isn't he so i shouldn't have pre-moved that but i had 11 seconds here and he has 25 so i kind of just have to risk it even if i lose the knight i'm still plus seven so i just take take and I just eat all the pawns, so worst case scenario now, it's a draw. Even if I flag, it's a draw. So yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to explain this much. I'm just going to push a pawn, try to promote it, uh, tie down his king, keep pushing more pawns. Uh, yep, just keep pushing more and more pawns. And eventually I will either flag him or promote. Like, yeah, because I have these this deflection tactic, I can put my bishop on e6 as well to support the promotion. And I can bring my bishop also to d5 to support this promotion. So yeah, reviewing that game, my cap score or accuracy, some people call it, uh, I had an 81.4% accuracy, go me, very good. And my opponent had a respectable accuracy of 73.8. And the estimated rating that I got was 2050. 2050 rating. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I mean, I would prefer higher, but uh, it's blitz. What can you do? And my opponent had an estimated rating of 1800, which I think is pretty accurate. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching today's YouTube video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.